Hi everyone, this is uh, Dr. Kim Thompson, the staff veterinarian at Binder Park Zoo. Many of our guests might have noticed recently that Al, our 80-year-old Aldabra tortoise, has not been out on exhibit lately, and we just wanted to give everyone an update on uh, Al's condition. Recently, we diagnosed Al with an infection affecting his front left foot. In order to better assess the extent of the infection and to rule out that there were no other areas involved, we needed to pursue getting a CT exam done. This is not a straightforward task when talking about an almost 600 pound tortoise. In order to accomplish this, we transported Al in his own specially made crate to the Brookfield Zoo in Chicago. The Chicago Zoological Society operates a radiology consulting service. Normally our radiologist, Dr. Marina Evencheech, uh, gets scans, either x-rays, ultrasounds, or CT scans that are submitted from different zoos and aquariums around the world, uh, seeking her input and, and guidance on case management. Uh, in the case of Al, because he was so big, there was actually not a CT scanner close by that was able to accommodate his size. So rather than just submitting scans, uh, Al actually came here to Chicago. Uh, we're fortunate here at Brookfield Zoo to have one of the biggest CT scanners available uh, that's able to accommodate up to about 650 pounds on the table. So it was able to allow very good imaging to be acquired on Al that Dr. Evencheech was then able to look at and, and come to some conclusions about what was going on with his case. The results of the CT were very helpful as it showed us that the infection was localized to his front left foot and it did not appear to be affecting any other locations. Unfortunately though, the CT showed that the infection is involving several of the bones in his foot causing osteomyelitis. Osteomyelitis is an infection of the bone which can be very difficult to treat and require extensive long-term medications. Al will need to remain in his indoor holding during the initial stages of his treatment. We have placed a feeding tube in his esophagus to allow us to administer his medications as well as fluids and food if needed. We will keep everyone updated on Al's condition and as we know that he is a favorite animal for many of our zoo patrons. Please stop by his window and wish him well and a speedy recovery when you're visiting the zoo.